Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I wanted to put this video out because this has come up a lot over the last, actually the last few days. I've been getting a lot of questions about PFSense versus Unify. Now I did a video, if you go back on the channel, you can see where I laid out, um, you know, Unify versus PFSense. But from a, a business standpoint, from a management standpoint, do I think that the UXG Pro, not the USG Pro, but the UXG Pro and the UDM uh, Pro, the UDM SE, they stand on their own and they compete against PFSense? Yes, I do think they do, and I think that they do it very well. Um, now, he, the, the thing that comes up the most is, well, what can PFSense do that the UXG Pro can't? Well, in 2022, the things that PFSense can do that um, that the UXGs can't that actually affect you or your clients, the list is probably smaller than than what you think, right? So whenever I have this conversation, the real the main two things that that come up time and time again, um, and I want to know what what you think about this down in the comments, and I want to know what affects you and what affects your customers or if you know if you're not a service provider what is affecting you right so the main two things that i see that keep coming up that affect a smaller population of end users is you can't do high availability yet with uh with a unify os console and you can't do dynamic routing that's really the two biggest things that i see what do you think's missing what what is it that keeps you uh, on either of the platforms? Let me know. I want to have this conversation. Um, if if you leave a comment and it's not you know a crazy pointed just flaming content to to get people riled up, I will respond to it. So let me know down in the comments what what you think about this. I think that uh, the Unify. Uh, product line is viable. It's a viable replacement with uh, the firewall for many products. And I think uh, because what Unify has done is they've changed the nomenclature. They've changed the, not the nomenclature, the vernacular on the back end. That confuses a lot of people. Um, and so it can actually do a lot that we haven't talked about. And, and I'm going to do some videos on that at some point. I've got to do the viewer's choice video first, which PF Sense ran away. Uh, well, I have to check the numbers now, but it had run away with the firewall side. But uh, so I'm going to get those put together. But let me know exactly what you think about this down in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you uh, need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click Hire Us, fill out the contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And if you'd like to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, those are down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.